Now, there are many issues on the ballot for the state coming up in the elections. And to help you understand those issues and proposals right. and all the things that are presented before you, there is a nice voter guide that's available, and that's where our next guest, Kristen Higgins, she's a program associate for the U of A System Division of Agriculture at the Cooperative Extension Services Public Policy Center, and she's here to talk all about the voter guide. Hey, yes. Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Good morning. Yes. Thank you for having us on today to talk about the 2022 Arkansas Ballot Issues Voter Guide. Yeah. Yes. I can't wait to hear more about that, but first of all, I, I don't know anything about the public mm -hmm. policy. Center. Can you share with us the public public policy center is? Sure. So we're part of the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture, known as the Cooperative Extension Service to a lot of our Kansans. And we're in our Little Rock State office. And what we do is we uh, look through a lot of you know local laws, state laws, uh, federal laws, and and help uh, people understand what some of the, the issues are and how they can get involved in the process, whether it's from water quality issues, air quality, or just, you know, something recently passed in the legislature. And so we've been doing voter education uh, since at least 2004, formally in the voter guide, um, and, and even earlier, because if you look at those constitutional amendments, you see that they've got a lot of technical terms in there, mm. uh, some legalese, that that makes it hard in, uh, to show up on election day and know exactly what you're voting on. Yeah, yes, I does. love that you said that because you're right. There is a lot of legalese and maybe a lot of jargon that people yeah. aren't familiar with. And I know for me personally, I get a little frustrated as I'm trying to do some research. And when I don't understand, I'm like, I, I just give up. Yeah, yeah, totally. How often do these guides come out? Is it a yearly thing that you publish these or uh, yeah? Every other year. Every so other year. Arkansas, we vote on constitutional amendments or state laws initiated by citizen groups every other year. So we, we put out a voter guide, you know, 2020, 2018. And so now we're in 2022 where we have four constitutional amendments on the statewide ballot to decide in November. Yes, yeah, certainly. And you've kind of alluded to this already, but the idea to mm -hmm. create this guide, can you fill us in on maybe where that came from? Was that a need you were hearing from the community? Yes, it, it is a need um, that we heard from in the community. If you go back into the late 90s, there was a proposed constitutional amendment that would have eliminated property tax in Arkansas. And while the idea sounds great, not having to pay any property tax, uh, that's where the majority of our school funding comes from, as well as you know, if you drive on a road uh, in the county, in the city, a lot of that funding, as, as well as for police and fire, comes from property tax. So there was a, a desire to break down that information um, for people to understand, you know, what the implications were of the issue, what a for vote meant and what an against vote meant. And so we've continued that tradition through um, nowadays um, in our voter guide, uh, sharing information about what a proposal would do, what supporters say, what opponents say, what a for vote means, what an against vote means, and just answering some very basic questions that people might have about the issues. Yeah. yeah. Kristen, how can we get access to the guide? Is there a charge uh, to see it? It's free. Uh, as of this week, every extension office in the state, so we have one in every county, they all have copies, printed copies, uh, that they either have at their office or they're putting out at the library or courthouse. So you can contact your extension office and find that number on our website, uaex.uada.edu. Or you can go to that website and find it online. We have it uh, a very great uh, website that explains all the issues. You can either look at the voter guide itself, uh, you know, a replica of what's the printed voter guide, or you can um, look through our videos that we have or um, through our Q and A's on our website. Yeah, that's perfect. Great. That's yeah. great to have. Virtual and physical. Thank you. Thank exactly. you so much, Kristen. Yeah, we, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah.